Derek, 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 see Ryan Jack. Ryan Jack will sit in the centre centre of the pitch and allow Raskin to go forward at stages in the game. If you watch Raskin, he's brilliant at driving with the ball 10, 15 yards, committing midfielders. And I think Ryan Jack and him have got a good partnership. That's I the reason I'm why I would play him. I think I'm worrying the same as Barry that the lack of bunt in the team as Mark says. I say last week and this, uh, before the season was kicked, one manager was under severe pressure. Mm-hmm. I would suggest if Michael Bale doesn't make the Champions League and loses to Celtic, it might not even get you Christmas because some fans are already restless with him. He would have never been my choice of manager. He's not. He's not. A, he's not a manager. He's a coach, and I think. He's, he's, he, the form of line all looks too similar to me and I think mm. that a complete lack of goals in the team which is very worrying I don't see where they're going to get a striker is any striker is going to get you 25-30 goals a season not what I've seen so far OK yep Barry. but he spent yeah. he's, he's obviously spent five sure. I don't mm. know the exact money he spent in Danilo five or six million pound Dessers is three and a half million pound Lammers is three three and a half million pound so there's money been spent in the areas and they guys are been brought in to do one thing and that's score goals um, and, and the hardest thing I spoke about it last week mm. the most important thing for a striker is he needs to get off the mark yeah. as quickly as possible once games keep churning out and you don't get that goal your confidence stop, uh, starts to, to drop a bit but Listen, this is the way it is. Yeah. I knew mm-hmm. what would happen here. There's people starting to get itchy feet, but that's just the way it is up here, Paul. I'm, I'm afraid. And the, it's a wake-up call for some of the players. They, they'll realise that they're coming in for a bit of criticism just now, but that's the way it works at Rangers because you're demanded to win every game. And I thought on Saturday, it wasn't good enough. I saw Chris Boyd saying on Sky, you know, the manager, it's under pressure. And Chris Sutton said, well, what do you mean by pressure? And a scale of 1 to 10. And Chris Boyd didn't then say what that was. But it sounds crazy after one game. There's 37 to go. But people have been it's pointing It's crazy it. in the West of Scotland. It is, isn't it? I know. That... Well, look at GVB this time last year. He'd just gone to, he was a penalty win mm-hmm. goal away from winning a European trophy. He'd won the Scottish Cup and he was out by what? November. Yeah, Michael Beale's behind in terms of achievement. Michael Beale's behind Giovanni Van Bronck, yeah. Giovanni Van Bronck, so get, got them into the Champions League. Michael Beale's got it's a stressful month, it's a horrible month. Well, particularly you're starting off at Rugby Park, then you've got Champions League qualifiers, yeah. and then you've got the old firm game on, on September the 3rd. But that's no, why no, you're Rangers no. manager. Yeah. No, I'm, not, I'm not here to make excuses sure. for Michael. Mm-hmm. One thing I would like to see, I mean, John Souter's had a lot of criticism yeah, for the goal. Yeah. John Souter, for me, is Rangers' best defender. Defender. He reads the game well. Mm-hmm. He'll get the ball, he'll break out with it, he'll make a pass, he'll link the play. He's Rangers' best defender. And they made a mistake at the goal, but as Barry said, Seema should be running the header. Barisic is rolling it, isn't he clever? And I like Barisic, but again, if you're going to win the league, if you're serious about beating Celtic over 38 games, defensively as well, there's not been enough work done um, with Rangers. That should have been one of the games you're coming back up and the bus thinking that was horrible mm-hmm. horrible game but, but we're coming back up with three points and there's One no sign of it scrappy horrible you've got to find a way um, and unfortunately they, they didn't and that puts them under pressure yeah. straight away because yeah. the Rangers fans are really demanding and they'll expect a lot more for this Rangers team 